Good morning. So in the midst of the chaos of planning the bike trip last minute and now that the van build's been benched, for the time being at least, I've actually got a little bit of spare time on my hands. Now you're probably thinking I should be out on the bikes getting some practice, but today they're in for a service, so I've got a genuine day off. Plus I'm pretty sure if I jumped on a bike now, tried doing some training, I'd be pulling out before we even get to Milan. If you haven't seen the video talking all about what we're doing and why, um, I'll put a link up here somewhere. For the meantime though, this is my mum's 2008 Mark II Audi TT. I think it's 8J is the code. 8M was the Mark One. this is an 8J. Now, they tend to have a common fault with the rear lights, the connector that joins all of the bulbs up. One of the terminals in particular, which is the indicator terminal, tends to either melt or corrode quite badly. You can get replacement connectors on eBay. Um, if you leave it too long, they actually break the like bulb holder itself, so you need to replace that as well. Now, last year or the year before, I already fixed the near side one. I had to replace the bulb holder and the connector. They're both too far gone. At the time, I used traditional crimps, and I must admit, it's pretty awkward joining two cables like the butt joints are always quite difficult. A few weeks back, a company called Solder Stick got in touch about their electrical connectors and how they'd like to sponsor a video and support the channel. They sent us a pack of these, and the timing is great. The car's just been in for an MOT. Now, it went through the MOT, but as an advisory, the rear indicator light was showing a few bulbs out. I've already checked the connector and the connector has actually started to corrode already. So I think rather than the bulbs um, being blown, I think it's actually the connector. So I'm hoping to use these to fix that today. I've got the repair connector, I've got the bulb holder and I've got my solder stick. So fingers crossed, this should be quite easy. And who doesn't love helping their mum out? Got a really annoying low sun. I'm trying to keep up with the lighting, but it is really blowing me out here. So this is the connector. These are about seven quid, I want to say. Let's hope it's the right one now. Yeah, that's right. They just give you these cables to join up. This is a spare bulb holder. These are more like 50 quid. But what I'll show you in a minute, the terminal that it goes into one of those pins will end up sort of melting and <laughs> that is so funny the when they ship the replacement they actually send you solder sticks connectors that is so fluky i thought it'd be a good idea to use solder sticks for this that's genius one of my favorite things about volkswagen and audi like vag group cars how easy they make it to remove rear lights. Danny had a polo years ago and that was literally one screw and it came out. In here you've got this screwdriver handle doubles as well, yeah, screwdriver handle and it's also like a um, like a giant allen key and also a socket on the end. So you can just pop this off with a screwdriver and then the allen key end goes in a little plastic nut or screw that way and that way yeah that's it okay it comes off so it doesn't look like much it's gonna be really hard this lighting's awful if you can just see in the bottom there the top left to you is showing the corrosion I don't know if you can see that or not. It's that one there on the top right causing the issue. I think it's like a change in voltage or something that just burns it out. What we'll do, snip these. They're numbered on there, do one at a time and then join them back up with a new connector. So these come in a pack of 500 with various sizes, anywhere from the white ones down at 26 gauge, um, which is 0.25 mil square cable, which is tiny stuff, which is ideal for this. Anywhere then up to 10 gauge. Which are these puppies? So that's a, a fair size cable. Any van builds and stuff. That size is likely to be uh, like your fridge or um, diesel heater or something like that. And how these work essentially, the outer casing is made up of heat shrink, which I tend to put over the top of my connections anyway, but the fact this is built in, looks like they've got an additional layer of yellow, obviously to show the size. I don't know if that adds additional grip or not, but the, oh, the main part in the middle is solder, which at 130 degrees 
and over will melt and bond the two cables together, which would give you a nice secure fit. As you've seen, the connector came supplied with the white ones, which uncanny. But yeah, for the small cables on that connector, these white ones would be perfect. Before I go ahead and fix it, I forgot to show you what the actual issue looks like. This one's in the early stages of going, and as the MOT said, it still had um, some bulbs going, but not all of them. Looks like now it's actually completely gone. So within the past couple of weeks since the MOT, it has completely... Yeah, it has actually completely stopped now. The lighting doesn't help, but it has actually completely stopped. And then obviously from inside the car, it warns you with the double speed indication light and the clicker, which is really annoying. Even when some of the bulbs were working on the back last week, um, it still does that double click because it's sensing less or more voltage to the rest of them, more voltage to the rest of them. If you're doing this yourself, it really is minimal tools. I am going to disconnect the battery. Some snips, wire strippers, and a mini blowtorch or soldering iron. Easier to show you on this one, but there are numbers to each cable just stamped along here. We'll just start at one and work our way around. I don't know if the colours correspond. No, the colours don't correspond. I'll take one out. Get number one. Those wire strippers not quite right. I've got a different set here. Oh. Like that. One from this one. First go. Right, number two. I don't know if you can see it's quite small, but the cables have both passed through the solder, joined in the middle. All we've got to do is heat it up. This will, um, the heat shrink seals it from water, and then the solder obviously gives you a decent joint. It's a nice joint. This brown, I'm assuming is, I don't know whether earth or not, it's a bit of a thicker cable. So I'm gonna go a size up. It feels, yeah. That's a lot better. You can see it work a bit better with one of these bigger sizes too. I think that's the solder going. by one swap the bulbs over. So if you want to get your hands on a set of these, I'll put a link in the description and top comment. Also, if you use the code DJ20, you'll get 20% off as well. Thank you, Solar Stick, for supporting our channel. And hopefully mum is pleased that her car is fixed.